everyone and welcome back to the vlog. So in today's video, I'm going to show you why a Tesla is honestly one of the most dog friendly cars to own. There are a lot of things I love about my Tesla, now, obviously it being an electric car, the self driving and autopilot features are among the big ones. But as a dog owner in particular, there's one super awesome feature that I want to highlight and also just in general show you why this car is so perfect if you own a dog. So let's get on the road. Milton, are you ready to go driving in the car? Yeah. You want to go already? Okay, let's go. We got to get our shoes on. Get your bag packed. All right, all leashed up and ready to go. All right, Milton, stay. Day. Okay, good boy. As you can clearly see, working on lace training is still something we very much have to do. He's just so excited to go in the car, aren't you, buddy? And here we are. So we have a 2021 Model 3 in white and we've had it since December so it's really not that old. Alright so we're here in the car with Milton who is currently looking out the window enjoying the nice breeze. So one awesome really good thing about the Tesla is the interior itself is a black like I don't want to say leather, but definitely a synthetic leather of some sort, which is also really good for Milton in particular because he sheds a ton, so it's better than fabric at letting us see where his little hairs are and getting to easily vacuum them up. And of course, the one thing that I think stands out about every Tesla vehicle is the big infotainment screen, so that has your map on it. Here it has an active view of the lane itself, driving in, our speed limit, everything like that. And the dog mode itself is actually an AC feature. So if I tap this, once we park, you'll see some options here like dog mode and camp mode. And if Milton was in the back seat, if I tap this button, that would send the air in the back for him so that he can have AC while we're driving. So to access dog mode, once your car is in park, you press this button and then you go here to dog, which says climate and screen will stay on after you exit. Sentry mode will be disabled for pets never leave a child unattended. So basically when we leave this car, Milton will stay inside with the AC nice and cold for him so he doesn't get hot. And then what's even cute is a little message will display on the screen to let people know that the Tesla is in dog mode so that it doesn't look like we just left him. Right, buddy? So yeah, so yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna leave you, buddy, for a few minutes, okay? Hey, 
everybody will be back soon. So now the car is in dog mode. Milton is inside. You can't really see because of the tint on the windows, but he's in there. All right, so a few minutes later, we got our goods, and now we are heading back to the car to see how Milton did. I think I see him. Hi, buddy. How'd you do? What do you think of dog mode? Not too bad, huh? See all your hair flying everywhere. I realized we actually never showed you what dog mode looked like, so if the driver leaves the car, then the screen should pop on just like this. So a cute little animated dog pops up and then my owner will be back soon and then it shows what the AC is at and then when they open the door, then it just goes back to normal. Like that! Yay! Good boy! Good boy! Now we're off to our next leg of the journey, aka home. And so that's pretty much it for the dog mode. It's not an incredibly elaborate feature, but I think it's definitely something super cool that not a lot of cars have. And as you can see, Milton is pretty content in the car. And I'm not going to say that's because we have a Tesla, but I do think a lot of it is built to make him comfortable. And of course, the other half of it is through training him to like it. In my last video where I took you through a little weekend in our life traveling with Milton, I showed you we also use a dog hammock when we're traveling on longer trips. But when we're doing short ones like this, I don't mind keeping him on my lap. He really enjoys it there and he's comfy. And so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and learning a little bit more about Tesla's dog mode. If you yourself own a Tesla and have used dog mode, we'd love to hear what you think of it as well. Feel free to leave that in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed so you never miss a new upload. And we'll see you guys next video. Bye.